How you doing, Manginas? Tangy Tondla here, bringing you guys Domination on Lockdown. And this gameplay, I'm going to tell you guys tips and tricks on how to get a M-O-A-B itches. b -aches is probably what I should have said. It would have been a little funnier, but I fucked up, <laughs> honestly. So, um, first off, I want to say I'm not a super duper awesome expert on how to get MOAMPs, but I basically have got in, in two weeks I've gotten like 10 or so because I actually started trying to get Moabs and they come fairly easy for me unless there's some stupid ass shenanigans like in uh, for instance on this map not this gameplay a future gameplay I get killed by a camper that is hard scoping down this doorway with um baby monitor and yeah I was one away two or one or two away and it's bullshit so, the bullshit's gonna happen, I can tell you that much. Um, but, let's get started on how to get some moabs, or mo moabs, mobs. If you want some mobs, bobs. Um, first, I wanna say you have to do a warm-up routine. It helps if you do a warm-up routine. Uh, my go-to one is masturbating. You wanna make sure your wrists are nice and loose and ready to go. So, you want to mix them up. Like, you don't want, you wanna do, like, the stranger lefty routine, as well as the righty, uh, the regular righty. So, you want to make sure that both wrists are ready to go because you're going to need both for trigger finger as well as being able to aim um, and stuff like that. So, make sure you have both your hands going. My my suggestion, too, is to have your hands dipped in butter. Not, not while you're jerking off. That could irritate your skin on your penis. But, <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a lady watching this. I really apologize right now. I probably should have warned you ahead of time. <laughs> but... I'm just giving you tips on how to blow your load. <laughs> okay, should probably change the topic. Oh, let's well, honestly, here, I'm going to do real tips and like, actually, they're all real tips, to be honest, if you know what I mean, real tips of the trade. Um, but I want to say, don't worry about what gun you use. I get a lot of shit for using ACR, MP7. I don't really use it all the time. Um, I actually, in past gameplays, and still now, you're going to see some future gameplays of me using it to try to get those guns gold. So right now that's my goal, and then eventually I'm gonna do like gold gun moabs because I think it's a little bit cooler if they people are using a gold gun. But don't worry if people give you shit about using the ACR. Use whatever gun that you trust the most and that you like and that you think you have the best chance of getting 24 kills in a row. Unless you're challenging yourself if you already get moabs yourself, and then go ahead try to use different guns. You know it's kind of fun to be able to try to get it different ways. But if you haven't got one yet. Don't let somebody give you shit about using an MP7 and then switch to a PM9 because it ain't gonna work the right way. And it really is one of those things, it's like it's like sex. Once you get it done, it's just like a normal routine after that, once you get the first one out of the way. So, um, so once you get your first Moab, it's gonna come a lot easier, you're gonna see exactly how you do it. Unless you get one on, um, what's that fucking, Infected. Infected is a way to get cheap Moabs, so... I mean, go for a Moab on there. They're fun. I've gotten some before, but it's easier that way. And I'm about to cough. My throat hurts. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And look at those spawns. Sweet, dude. They just are all over the place. I was shitting my pants right there. So, also, best game modes, in my opinion. Uh, some people like Ground War. I personally don't like Ground War at all. I think it's way too chaotic, and it just sucks. So I like domination and free for all. I actually haven't gotten a free for all Moab, but like I've gotten close like three or four times, and I've only played about ten. So I think free for all would probably be an easier one if you don't have a team to rock with. But if you do have a team to rock with, I definitely suggest domination. But overall, it's your personal choice. I, I like domination because while the spawns are fucked up and they do fuck you up most of the time, and that there are random times where it switches, you kind of have a good idea of where they are. And, um, with objective gameplay, you're going to have people that are going to be focused on that, and you can go over there and kill Horam. So, I have to say, while I like to play the objective a lot, I'm an objective-based player, I have to kind of teach myself to not quite do that as much. You're going to see, you see me maybe not go for a cap, a flag cap, or not, you know, not risk my life to flag the cap of flags, that makes sense. So I'm kind of going out there with the idea that I need to play slow and steady, but still um, poop on some noobs. 
as in you don't want to keep going and rushing around a corner. If you see me, this gameplay here, if you go back and watch a past video of me just using an assault class compared to this going for Moabs, you'll see my pace of game is a lot slower. Um, I aim past walls a lot more, like right there. You aim right away when you pass a corner just in case somebody's there. You see me, um, I don't know, play a little bit more conservative. You don't see me run around everywhere and get into their spawn. You want to keep a kind of distance away from them, if that makes sense. Also, um, a lot of people like to run hardline first on specialist. Obviously, specialist is the easy way to go for it. I mean, go for it if you want to try to assault or support one. Um, I don't. It's just a lot easier to do on specialist. But a lot of people put hardline as their first one. And I know somebody, uh, some famous YouTuber covered this of why it's not as good. And that is because you're basically handicapping yourself. While, yes, it only takes one cap or one kill to be able to get the next perk, you are facing somebody that's going to have three or more perks while you only have two. So, really, you're making your odds of killing that person a little bit less depending on what you want to use. So, if that makes sense, I'm a huge quick draw person. I go quick draw sit rep. And then for the blue one, I go, um, and by the way, get all pro perks. All pro are amazing. Um, but the blue perks, I usually run scavenger, recon, or sleight of hand, whatever I'm feeling. Um, and look at this dude. That guy had to be pissed. He had like six hit markers on me because I had uh, that ballistic vest on. So that was kind of funny. I thought it was. And right up here is actually a scary moment. I can't see my screen right now where the gameplay is. I can only see half of it. But I know I run out of ammo up here, and I start freaking out. Don't know what to do. Uh, I think I was on the mic with people, and I was like, oh, I'm about to die! Don't kill me! Um, so other tips is to have a girl blowing you while you're playing, or if you're a girl playing the game, have a guy, um, I don't know, what's the, what's a good, what's a funny terminology for, um, doing stuff to you? I don't know, rug munching. Fuck, I don't care. Write in the comments what you think it should be called. So, yeah, that's also a good thing because it keeps you uh, alert. It makes... Well, actually, no, it's actually... You probably shouldn't do that because blood doesn't rush to your brain, so you want to be able to think a little bit more. You don't want to be thinking with the other head down there. Um, why Why does all my commentaries turn into sex jokes? I don't get it. I, I, you just call me Tiger Woods because I'm going to put it in every hole. So, yeah, baby. That's how you get Moabs. Run with the team and just masturbate before you get on the, before you put um, your hands on the joystick. Make sure you test out your third joystick. How creepy was that? That was a Sandusky moment. Um, but uh, also, um, fuck, I keep saying um, 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 headsets are amazing. If you haven't spent money on at least some type of Turtle Beach. You need to ask for that on your Christmas list. I have to say, if you don't play with a headset, you're fucking crazy if you want to play good on this game. Obviously, you don't need one to play good, but it you're going to see a night and day difference in your game if you have those fucking headsets on. It is crazy how many people you can hear, especially when you have Sit Rep Pro or Dead Silence on. It's just absolutely shit boggling. And I have to say that I bought... Gunner Optics, I hardly, I don't really use them very often. I suggest not buying them. I think they're kind of a waste of money. Instead, because they're 100 bucks. I mean, they, they help a little bit. They help eye fatigue, and they zoom in a little bit. But if you're going to spend 100 bucks on something, Scuff Controller is what I heard to go out and buy. I personally don't have one. It's on my wish list, as well as Astros. So hopefully those are going to be coming to me when I have some money on my birthday. So that's going to be something to look forward to. I can maybe do a product review in the future. But I have to say that I've heard awesome stuff about Scuff Gaming Controller. If you don't know what it is, Google it. And Astros, I mean, we most of you people should know about those. Those are like $300 headphones to be able to poop on noobs day and night. Day and night. Whoa, whoa, I'm rocking turn. I've seen this dress in my mind. Um, but that's really all there is for tips and tricks from Moabs. There really isn't just one quick fuck. My fucking cat stepped on my TV, not my TV, my computer's uh, laptop, so it stopped the recording. But, like I was about to say, until I got rudely interrupted by a fucking furry pussy that, um, that bites me sometimes. Um, not the first time, though, I got to say. <laughs> uh, but what I was trying to say is that there's really no quick and easy way to get a Moab. There's not just like, hey, if you do this, 
Guaranteed to get a Moab. There's nothing like that. It takes practice. It takes time. Don't get frustrated if you get buzz killed. I mean, it's hard to. I get frustrated all the time. As in, but don't just don't just give up and be like, I'll never get a Moab. I'll never get a Moab. I'm gonna cry in this corner and just start using a striker. Don't be that guy. And sorry, it got dark right there for some reason. My Xbox got dark after I called in the Moab. I think it was just the apocalypse. Um, so. Yeah, it just takes practice. It helps so much when you have friends with you. They don't even have to be running support classes. Even if they're out there helping you get kills and not capping a third flag, it it's amazing. It's a lot nicer when there's two flags out there and not three of them on your whole team the whole time. So it makes it a lot easier to know where they're spawning at. And uh, people get really... You start to get worse when you get pissed too because you know what I mean? You just run out in the middle somewhere and die and then you're like, oh, fuck this game. I hate it. Even though I do hate this game. Actually, I'm having more fun with this game now than I was probably three months ago. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's because I'm actually a little bit better at it. Uh, because I have been getting the Moabs. I think the Moabs are quite fun to go for. Um, so, best of luck. Hopefully, this is these have worked. These tips and tricks. I know it's kind of a funny, joking type commentary. But seriously, the stuff I've told you... Um, which I haven't told you much, but just be conservative, always aim around the corners, have the good shit like head, uh, headphones, um, don't use hardline and run with the team, that's about, that's about the tricks I can give you, if you have more tricks leave it in the comment below, tips and tricks rather, and let me know if, if this has helped at all, uh, at least it's probably helped your masturbating technique and getting blowjobs while playing video games, um, yeah, so stay hairy, manginas.